Boom, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Odin Chronicles episode number 10. Alright, so quick update on Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, the project's pretty much done. Um, I'm going to style it a little bit more tomorrow, just to see you know, if I can brush up on a few things, make it look you know, a little more presentable. But, I mean, this is pretty much it right here, guys. Uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, my goal for today, um, what I was working on today, was trying to uh, style the X's and O's a little bit better. Because before, they were coming out really tiny and small, and I couldn't really see them. But now they come out nice and big like that, as you can see. So that's what I, what I was working on today. I thought it was going to be something super complex, but really all it was, I'll show you my code first before we dig into it, and I'll show you how it's working. Uh, but I go back to my HTML, and these squares here, which I'm kind of hovering over, if you can see those, go right to the center. The squares there, the cells on the board, um, they're rendered right here, and they have a class of box. So there's nine squares in there. Each have a class of box. So I can set the size of them. If I go to my CSS, I can set the size of the boxes. You know, 170 pixels with 170 pixels, but the font size, I increase that to make the mark <laughs> grow bigger. Because, um, you know, when it's, you know, we have some conditional logic in my JavaScript file that determines, hey, you know, um, that if a player mark gets, you click on that certain square there, um, it's going to add text content and add that X mark, player one's mark to the board. So any text content that's going in the board, the way to make that text content increase the size is increasing the font size. And God, you know, I've I never really been a smart one. I'm pretty, pretty retarded guy. So when I figured that out, I mean, I felt like a genius, but it's obvious. I mean, I couldn't believe I couldn't think about that before. I was wasting hours and hours Googling, checking Stack Overflow, um, how to do this, how to do that. It's like, man, just go to your index HTML. Well, each square has a class, a box. You could set the width and height of it. But the text content, the stuff that's going to be added in there, you're going to want to increase the font size of that. So we're adding an X and an O in there. Boom, boom. So when we're adding that text content in there, we're just going to increase the font size. And that's going to increase the, uh, the mark. And we're just using some flex properties there, making sure it's all centered in there. Um, that's basically it. I wanted to show that there. Hopefully that made sense. I mean, I'm pretty stupid I'm trying to explain that. But yeah, increase the font size if you want to increase the... Um, the size of whatever text content properties in there. But I'll, I'll show you how the game's working here. So enter my name, Alec. Enter my favorite little dog, Amy. Amy's name. Little chocolate lab. It's going to show it's my turn first. I make my mark. It's always going to be an X. As you can see here, player one's always an X. So, you know, choose anywhere on the board. You'll see that mark comes out nice and big there. And see, after, immediately after I make my mark, it switches to Amy's turn. Okay. Amy makes her mark. Make my turn. Amy's turn. Uh-oh. Who's going to win here? I'll let Amy win. Bam. As you can see, we got a winning combo there. Three across there. Amy wins. I'll show you one more. That's one winning condition. Now I wrote conditions for all different things, you know, vertical, horizontal, all diagonal. We'll do a diagonal this time. My turn. I'll make my mark there. Amy, make her mark there. I'll make my mark there. Boom. 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 Amy wins. Diagonal there. So all different combinations there. Cool, and well, that's pretty much it, guys. That's Tic Tac Toe. I'll spend tomorrow, you know, see what else I can style on up a little bit. Look over my code to make sure everything's um, going as it should, and everyone where, uh, where everything is that I like it. Um, yeah, just make sure everything's organized. Um, yeah, maybe ask for some feedback with some other people on Discord, uh, just to make sure everything's checked away. So yeah, definitely not over yet, but you know, this is pretty much uh, almost the final product right here. Hope not. Uh, hope not kick a. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping I jinxing myself here by uh, saying too early, but no, I spent a lot of time on this project, and it sure as hell feels good to have this almost done. So um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for tic tac toe. Close out the video saying I was thinking something earlier before I wanted to film this. Um, my favorite drinks, and we're talking non-alcoholic drinks here. Um, I love tea. I'm a huge, huge fan of tea. Uh, if I had to pick one kind of tea, uh, I love green tea with matcha. Um, man, the reason I like it so much, I always drink a green tea when I study, but the one thing I like about it a lot, what they found with green tea is they have, is that a chemical in there called L-theanine and L-theanine has been shown to increase like focus and concentration. And I always notice that after I drink green tea, I feel a little more focused and concentrated. Um, I can definitely feel that. So I can definitely see where that comes from. Um, yeah, it just makes me feel good. I love green tea. I love it. I love it. Other kind of teas I like, I like hibiscus tea as well. And that apparently is very good for your heart as well. It's like a blood red 
um, colored type of tea and drink that. Yeah, very soothing, very relaxing. And apparently it's very good for circulation and um, heart health, too. So um, keep drinking my hibiscus tea. Um, other kind of drinks? Let's see. I love coffee, too. I don't drink coffee as much as I like tea. But, uh, man, I like a nice light roast coffee. Um, I prefer the light roast a little more. I feel like that has a little more flavor and a little more, like, um, I guess, like the smell, the aroma of it. I love it. I love a light roast coffee. I mean, dark's not bad, but, if, man, if I had to pick one, I'd choose light roast all day. Um, that's pretty much it. I can't think of other kind of drinks I like. But, um, yeah, big fan of green tea, hibiscus tea. I like drinking coffee as well when I study. So, uh, yeah. I mean, always, always drinking on some kind of tea when I'm studying here. That's about it, guys. Make another video tomorrow. Checking with how I'm doing. But uh, that's about it. Very happy to have that up and running. Take it easy, guys.